yellow has got to be the most difficult over the rainbow colour that I've done so far. Hi everyone, it's Claire back again. So we're going to have a look at yellow today. I've got about 16, I think, to show you. And we're going to go through some fun facts, some meaning and symbolism, um, and some cultural references, that kind of stuff. So some interesting fun facts about yellow. Now, before we start, how many people love the colour yellow but just can't wear it as a nail polish? I think most of us feel that way. Uh, that seems to be the majority anyway of other people's videos and things that I watch. Um, that yellow is a difficult colour and it is. It can be quite a difficult colour to match to your skin tone. But I'm not sure if it's any more difficult than other colours. I think we dismiss it quite quickly. So hopefully we'll be able to get some more information on why we feel that way. Um, it's a very interesting colour and I've learned a lot more about yellow since I've been researching this for the video. But let's make a start on some of the types of yellow. This is another reason why it was really difficult because there are so many yellows that look exactly the same to me on the colour wheel. Um, but yeah, we'll I'll explain that as we go through. So the first batch I've got here, we've got a lemon, a mustard slash Dijon, an amber yellow, a school bus yellow, um, that's North America obviously, we don't have yellow school buses here in the UK, um, a, a maize yellow and a banana yellow. So can you tell which is which? This is the first one here, this is Chilato, which looks green, I know it looks green, but it's a very, very, very yellow toned green. It's looking a lot more green in the camera against everything else here. But if I put it against another green, hopefully you can see that it's a lot more yellow toned. Um, yeah, this is SE Chilato. Okay, here's a swatch wheel. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna give you some fun facts as we go through. Um, this is definitely going to look much more green against all of the other yellows. But it is a lemon yellow. Strangely, I wouldn't have thought that, but this, this is the closest colour match. I'm using polishes that are obviously from my collection. So there are many more types of yellow than I'm going to be showing you today. It's just that to make it easier... Um, the best way to do it was just to kind of pull out all of my yellows and try to match them on various colour wheels. Um, so yeah, that one is lemon and can you see which one the mustard Dijon is? It's actually this one. This is Crocs a Killer from Polish Me Royalty and this is beautiful, beautiful deep gold. These first two colours that I'm showing you here just don't look like yellow at all. Um, but yeah, this is a Dijon yellow or a mustard. So a very, very deep green, gold, yellow. I love this one because of the shimmer in it. You see that green shimmer? Beautiful. And it's a magnetic as well. Um, yeah, so there's that one. Uh, the next one is a school bus yellow. And that's this one, which is my twin Mimi. This is the nearest I could find to a school bus yellow. It's looking a bit brighter there, but it is actually a slightly orange toned yellow. Um, the next yellow, I'm going to swatch these as I'm giving you some facts as we go along is a maize yellow and that's this one which is funnily enough it's called lemon fizz by china glaze but this is a maize yellow or the nearest again i keep making excuses for this because it was so difficult to match um and then we have an amber yellow which is this one which i thought was would have been more of a mustard this is salted caramel from glitter baby nails and this is a banana yellow. 
So if I put it against the white there, you can see there is a slight creamy yellow to it, but this is a banana yellow and this is Unicorn from Sinful Colours. I wouldn't rush out to buy this. Um, I picked this up from a pound shop recently and it's an awful formula. I was going to de-stash this actually, but I just pulled it out for this video. Um, so these are, I'm going to go through, which ones have I done? I've done these two. So here's the... I'll do the amber one next. So yellow. Let's talk about yellow. It's the most luminous colour on the colour wheel. So it captures your attention more than any other colour in the spectrum. So you're going to notice yellow first whenever you see any colours. You will notice the yellow um it's you even with perif peripheral vision um you see the yellow jump out at you straight away it's so luminous that it can be used as a secondary light source and this is my twin mimi which is the closest i've got to the school bus yellow but all you ladies in north america let me know if that's the case it's looking much brighter this is going this is going to just drive me crazy which again is quite appropriate and I will explain that as we get to the meaning and symbolism of yellow let me show you this horrible unicorn from sinful colors which is a banana yellow um yeah, you'll notice yellow first. So yellow is the colour of emojis, it's the colour of warning signs, traffic signs. In nature we can see yellow in sunflowers, daffodils, egg yolks, lemons, canaries, butter. There's lots of yellow in nature and in food. Um, it's, it's the highest reflective colour so it, it can it can actually irritate your eyes after a while and if you have lots of yellow around you it can be quite irritating to your eyes just because it's got such a high reflection. It doesn't react very well with black. Most colours you add black to it and it just makes it a darker, you know, if you've got a blue and you add black to it, it you make it a darker blue. With yellow it doesn't work that way. You can get mustards and these deeper toned yellows but there isn't really anything that uh, that's classed as a dark yellow because when you mix black with yellow you do get that sickly green colour which I love and that's that would be my ugly pretty type of shade. Um, but yeah the, the complementary colour for a yellow is blue and I've kind of, it doesn't stamp very well. It's a shame because I've sort of messed up. I was matching my nail polish to my ring. This is a, a polish that was sent to me by Hayley Kay. And it's a Kiko polish. And I did some stamping with it to try and make it look like the turquoise ring. And I've also got another turquoise ring there. It's a slightly different colour turquoise. Um, but then I thought, oh, to, to illustrate that yellow is a complementary colour to blue, I, I'll, I'll just do a couple of accent nails, but it didn't really work. <laughs> so that's what that is. Um, yeah, so let's move on to the next batch before this gets really, really long. So the next set of yellows, these ones here. Now what we've got here in these five in these five here we've got a canary yellow a cream a daffodil yellow and then we've got an unmellow yellow and a mellow yellow yeah okay which one do you think is the canary yellow that i know that they look very similar but there are very subtle differences the canary yellow is this one here, which is Let's Meet. I haven't got a swatch of this. I don't know why, because I actually wore this a couple of days ago, and I loved it so much that I wore it for a couple of days, which is quite unusual for me. This is one of my 
Poundland recent pickups and I loved it and nobody ever 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 compliments me on my nails ever it just doesn't happen um, nobody people in shops friends family nobody even my husband I will force my nails into his face and say what do you think what do you think but I never apart from my friends uh, on Instagram who tell me that my pictures and my manicures look look nice I don't ever you know in my day-to-day -day life I never ever ever get compliments on my nails or the color of my nails apart from this one I was in the supermarket and the woman on the till as I was packing the shopping I was wearing this one and she said oh I really like the color of your nails and it just it amazed me because it is a yellow um, but then again, that kind of goes with it being the colour that captures your attention and that you notice first. So yeah, if you are looking for uh, people to notice your nails, then get a yellow on your nails. So that one is a canary yellow. Then we've got a cream and this one here is Lean On Me from Essence. This is a beautiful polish. The whole collection is. So... <sighs> I think I'm right in thinking that we don't really like, or we don't often like, yellow as a nail polish. And I think we need to know why that is. This is a daffodil, by the way, which is... This is a daffodil yellow, which is Seven Dials by Nails Inc. So there's very, very, very subtle differences between them. These two look very similar actually. The OPI and Let's Meet are very similar, but there's just a slight more orange tone to this one. Um, so that's Seven Dials. And then I'm just going to show you these two. We've got a mellow yellow <clears throat> and an unmellow yellow. So the mellow yellow is this one, which is, funnily enough, Banana Split, but it's more of a, a mellow yellow. It looks a bit like a banana smoothie. So it's that it's more of a, a smooth type of yellow. And this is, although it's mellow yellow by Sally Hansen, it's actually an unmellow yellow. <sighs> How confusing. So you can see the headaches that I've been having trying to get this yellow over the rainbow video together. This one is slightly more vibrant than this one. And that's the only difference. So that's the mellow yellow and the unmellow yellow. So not many appliances in the home or like electrical devices are yellow. And from what I can the easiest way to explain it from what I've read, and hopefully this makes sense, is the positive power of yellow is in the mind rather than us wanting to use it. So it makes us feel like we love yellow. Yellow is such a beautiful, vibrant colour. But we don't like to live with it. We don't like it around us or we don't really like to wear it and we don't like to see it around us in our homes. So we love it, but we just can't. There's something about it that makes us not want to live with it. I think that might become a bit more apparent when we get into the meaning and the symbolism and the kind of positives and negatives. But that's that's the yellows we've got so far. And these ones were the most straightforward ones. These two here, they're very similar actually. I need to probably do a, a Claire Compares with these two. This is One Chic Chick, which I picked up in clearance from TK Maxx recently. And this one is one of my NARS high-end polishes and this is Anarchy and they're both beautiful like dark creamy yellows and the reason that I've put these two together is I th this is how difficult I was finding it these these yellows can be described as blonde yellows vanilla yellows flax yellows buff yellows they all look so similar that you, I can't tell the difference between them, but it's that type of yellow. So uh, I would say a vanilla, but that's these two. Um, I'm not going to swatch them actually because I probably will do a Claire's compare for these two. However, let me give you some information about the meaning and symbolism for yellow. So 
So yellow is a colour that symbolises happiness, optimism, creativity, youth. It's much more of a practical colour than it is an emotional colour. But there's a real upside, you know, it means sunshine, bright summer days. It's a happy colour. When I was a, I think I mentioned this before, when I worked in a florist many years ago, we used to use yellow flowers, yellow roses particularly, that were that were symbolic of love, but love in a friendship way rather than red roses in a romantic way. However, there's a massive, massive flip side to yellow. But there is a huge flip side to yellow and there's a massive negative side um, and it relates to cowardice, so like yellow belly, it relates to treason, betrayal. There's some horrible um, historic significance to the colour, like um, y European Jews during the Holocaust were forced to wear a yellow Star of David. Um, so it's uh, that yeah that in terms of cultural references, um, in China, adult movies which we know as is blue movies are are called yellow movies. Um, there's also a connection to insanity with yellow um, that's actually quite sinister. It, it it relates to physical illnesses like jaundice and malaria and obviously yellow is the colour of pee and pus and baby poop, that kind of thing. But also it relates to mental illness as well. So there's lots of things that I can tell you here. In general, yellow seems to be a colour for people who who display mental extremes, so extremes of of happiness to depression. Um, the painter Van Gogh, or Van Gogh, however you want to pronounce that, he painted with much more yellow colours towards the end of his life as he was descending into madness. So the very famous sunflowers painting from Van Gogh was towards the end of his life. In Russia, insane asylums are called yellow houses, um, and that's because they were actually painted yellow many, many, many years ago. Um, yeah, it, it's a, it's a, it's quite. There's a sad story to yellow. I mean, the other thing about yellow, in again going back to the very practical colour, is it's the the colour of warning signs, traffic signs. Um, in sports if you get a yellow flag in car racing or football it's a kind of, it's like caution a warning so i think that's one of the reasons that makes us think yay yellow it's so happy but immediately as soon as you think that you go because it's inbuilt into us that yellow is um a, a, is a is a cautionary color it's a warning and also the the association with mental illness as well. So other cultural references in Greece yellow signifies sadness, in France yellow signifies jealousy. Some phrases that I can tell you we've all already mentioned yellow belly which is cowardly, um, yellow journalism which is um, again that attention grabbing sensationalism, sensational journalism, fake news um, to sell more papers. The, the Just to cheer us up a little bit, one of the things that I would say at the end of this video is um, there are lots and lots of songs with yellow in them. So, um, you know, name, name your favourite song that's got yellow in the title. Um, there is a, a song by Frank, Frank Zappa from the 70s and I always used to rem wonder why my grandmother when I was little in the 70s used to say to me when it was winter, she would say don't eat yellow snow <laughs> and it took me a while as a child to realize what that actually meant um don't eat yellow snow <laughs> the, the other song that i can remember from when i was little was tie a yellow ribbon round the old oak tree which and there's a real story behind that which is um a, a, a guy who was coming out of prison and on his way back home he wanted to know he wrote to his wife to say if you still want me back when I get released from prison 
tie a yellow ribbon round the oak tree and then I will see it and I will know to get off the bus and that you, you're going to welcome me home. Um, and yeah, that's... And she, she ended up tying hundreds of yellow ribbons round the oak tree. So um, that had a happy ending in the end. But anyway, <laughs> I'm going to finish because yellow is stressing me out. Um tell me what you think about yellow do you wear yellow have you worn a yellow nail polish and people have noticed I've, if you haven't i've got a challenge for you if you have got a yellow nail polish grab it wear it even just for a couple of hours go out somewhere go to the shops and let me know how many people if any comment on your nail polish color um, and if you are a fan of yellow, let me know what your favourite yellow is. So I, I fall into that category of loving it as a colour, but being a little bit cautious about it. It's that inbuilt warning system. Um, and I hesitate to put it on my nails, but when I do get it on my nails, I really, really enjoy it. So yeah, mixed bag there. Um, I'm actually looking forward to finishing this video and moving on to the last two colours that we've got over this trip over the rainbow are orange and green and I think I will probably do orange next and then I'll do green in September because that's my birthday and that's my birthday month and that's my favourite colour. But that's it for now, a uh, long video and uh, quite a difficult colour and difficult in every way to match the types of yellow and to explain to you what the meaning and the symbolism is behind it. But anyway, that's it for me. I'm going to wrap up here and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.